Hey guys, Ultimate Immersion here. I got something really special for you today. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than uh, what I usually do. And I just discovered this randomly. And I thought that uh, I really need to show this to you because the project is freely available for anybody. Uh, so there is somebody who did this. His name is Soli and he also has a YouTube channel. Uh, you can see here, this is his project. And I'll put all the links down below in the description, so you can check it out. He made a ray tracing model for Microsoft Excel. Which is just like freaking mind blowing, how is that even possible? Like, you know, you know, everybody, everybody's probably familiar with Microsoft Excel. It's a database software where you can, you know, run calculations, store your finances, uh, you know, stuff like that nothing to do with graphics 3d rendering or anything but he somehow managed to pull this off and I don't understand how this works no way here are some basic instructions we just actually have to do one thing and that is to copy uh, the row 24 you know from row 25 to row 14 1405. Uh, Probably because otherwise the file would be, would be too big or some, you know, uh, it would take too long to open or something like that. But that's why, you, you know, you have to do it on your own. Um, and these are the basic instructions here, you know. This, okay, so first thing, this is the screen. And here are some macro uh, buttons. You actually use, this, this uses macros to work. So right now the screen is black because we didn't do anything yet. We, we didn't do this line, so we're gonna do this right now. We're gonna copy this line 24, control C, and we're gonna jump down to the line 14405, boom, and select it, go back to the top, and shift select to line 25. So this will take about a minute or two, three maybe, it depends on your PC. So now, you can see the screen, and here are the spheres, and you can see all the reflections, all the shadows, and this is an actual 3D, uh, imitation of a free 3D uh, perspective. And this is ray traced, which means it's actually calculating rays per pixel or well, actually per cell at this point, you can see like there's like each pixel here is a cell. And um, wh while we rotate uh, around and move around, uh, it actually calculates, you know, all the reflections and shadows and everything that, you know, we, we, we get uh, in an actual 3D rendering software. So I can now press play. And we can move around, but the thing is, you know, this, you have to understand, this is ex this is Microsoft Excel. This is not a 3D rendering software. So, it will take a while, <laughs> it will take a couple of seconds for, you know, each frame to update. So right now I press W, which will, uh, you know, move us forward, and now we can see it moved us forward. Um, I can press, what was it? You can check the instructions here. I can press R to move the camera up. So let's press R. Let's move the camera up. And it takes a couple of seconds, you know, for each frame to update. There you go. Let's, let's go one more step up. And then you can, you know, you can tilt your camera as well. I pressed U now, so I think it's gonna tilt down or something. Or is it up? Oh, it's sideways, okay. Uh, I think I is then down or up or something, I don't know. So, you know, you can tilt in all directions in yeah this is going up now uh in all directions in 3d axis um and that that actually that basically gives you the full control over the 3d field but you know this is this is way too slow for for the practical use so we're gonna use the animate button which already has an existing path that the camera will follow along so it has 1200 frames in total that um I believe it does 360 shot in this field and that will give us a perspective of how this ray tracing model actually works but the thing is again you know um, 
it's gonna update really slowly, like, you know, a couple of seconds per frame. Uh, which means I will have to speed up this clip for us to actually see the whole animation in full motion picture. So let's go! There we go guys, um, this was an actual full animation of this project and it's seriously incredible how this is even possible, how, you know, how is, <laughs> how can somebody create a 3D field inside a Microsoft Excel, which is not even closely meant for that. Amazing, amazing. So leave a like guys if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. We're soon gonna hit 50,000 subscribers guys, which is just mental. And I can't thank you enough for that. I'm making the uh, Minecraft update, which is gonna come by the end of this week, most likely. Uh, right now I still have, uh, I'm still working on college full time. Uh, that's why I didn't have much time for the, for my YouTube and, you know, Minecraft content that I create. Um, I'm finalizing the the final thesis of my for my college, which I'm gonna have to present next month to the university. Um, and then I'm finally done with everything. So uh, thank you so much for staying patient. But uh, yeah, the update is still coming, and I have a new EMB update almost ready for Skyrim Special Edition. So that's gonna come out probably next week as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys, stay awesome!